So there has been a positive impact from this pandemic, cleaner air, but still there are some ways the environment has been negatively impacted in recent months. WJZ is live tonight. Stetson Miller has some of the environmental restrictions that have been rolled back and why there could be more pollution in our waterways. Stetson. Rick, obviously a lot has changed since the start of this pandemic. And one of the ways that one thing that has changed is the enforcement of environmental rules. And some environmentalists say that these changes are not so good. While the world is focused on COVID-19, the federal government has been continuing to roll back some environmental policies. One is the clean car standard. That will increase pollution from our transportation sector quite a bit. The change means a rollback of increased fuel economy standards in new cars and trucks and could result in more than an additional 900 million metric tons of greenhouse pollutants. Kate Freeman with Environment Maryland says the policy could be an even bigger problem right now. This is a respiratory illness and so to say that that increasing air pollution is an okay thing to do in a pandemic really doesn't add up. In April the EPA said it would maintain the current standards saying they were sufficient. Another change Enforcement has been suspended during the pandemic after requests from the oil and gas industry. This is concerning because the Clean Water Act and the Clean Air Act depend on this monitoring and reporting to know who our biggest polluters are. The Clean Water Act has also been rolled back, which could affect the Inner Harbor and the Chesapeake. Environment Maryland says it will challenge the change in court. Another concern for Alice Volpitta of Blue Water, Baltimore, the suspension of city street sweeping which was done so residents working from home wouldn't have to move their cars. Things like trash are the most obvious, but there's other pollutants that are entering our waterways like sediment that carries phosphorus, which is feeding algae blooms. And that's what's causing things like fish kills and this terrible smell that's at the harbor right now. And Blue Water Baltimore is starting to test the water this week, and they'll even be looking for the presence of the coronavirus in the water. Uh, something else to note, you can report pollution to them or to 311, and you can head to environmentmaryland.org to learn more about those environmental policy rollbacks. Live at the Inner Harbor, Stetson Miller for WJZ.